Mm. Making cider is so simple. You harvest the apples or scrump them if you've not got your own growing. You chop them up, you grind them, and then squeeze the juice out of them. And then you leave that juice in an airtight container with an airlock on top, of course, to allow the carbon dioxide to escape for one to two months. Then you wait for the juice to become cider. And if you come a little closer, I'll tell you the story of how I made this incredible stuff. It all began one month ago. I'll brace myself this time. Hello. Hello, cow. <laughs> the Katie apples are at their peak of plumpness. The press and the scratter are greased and sterilised and rearing to go. It's a refreshingly cool afternoon compared to yesterday. And it's the perfect time to finally get around to making some cider. So, scrumpy ahoy! You come with I I know where the apples are. So you made up your mind to move out of the town Cause the consumer society's getting it down And a new branch of Lidl's just opened up Round where the park used to be And you read in the paper on Sunday about How more and more urbanites keep dropping out Race to go and run organic farms and frolic in jumpers and wellies. So you drive down to Cornwall and hastily buy a bottle and find us with butter and stay. You recorded me doing the easy bit. It's the very last twist now. Yep, that's it. <laughs> as much juice as we're going to get out of that. <laughs> ah! I think it's going to take us a while to make 25 litres to fill up this whole drum. We've got about a litre so far. And that's a whole tree we picked. But we have three more trees. There's the russet, there's the Cornish aromatic, and the mystery apple, whose label I've lost. And then we might have to go scrumping elsewhere in the village. There you go, girls. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to scare you. It's just apple. It's your favourite. <laughs> it's the last one, isn't it? I think we'll have to plunder the russet tree as well. No. <laughs>
getting a bit late now. I'll do the rest in the morning. The wasps shouldn't be quite so active then. Hopefully. Uh, nothing quite gets you in the mood for drinking cider, like making cider. Cheers. Mm. Now that's how it should taste, and hopefully will taste in two to three months. See you then. Hello again. It's exactly a month later since the apples were juiced and I've moved the potential cider from the shower shed into the caravan here because it was getting a bit cool out there now that autumn has come and the fermentation had slowed right down and in fact it's so cold in here now it's only about 10 degrees centigrade that the fermentation has gone right down to just one bubble per minute but seeing as it's been a month I thought it'd be time to have a little slurp and test it to see how much of the sugar in the apples has been turned to alcohol by the natural yeast we left on the surface of the apples. Yeah, rather than risking tipping this into a glass, I'm just going to use a straw. Remove the airlock. Yeah, I can go in there. Well, it certainly smells cidery. Mm. It's not a dry cider, it's still quite sweet, but I'm quite tempted to bottle it now actually before all of the sugar turns to alcohol and it becomes a really strong dry cider. What do you think? Have a sip. What do you think? Is that ready? Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. Should we bottle it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's bottle it. Happy autumn. <laughs> Their foam looks a bit like my night bottle. <laughs> there we go. That's one for Christmas and a jug for this evening. I think it'd be wise just to keep the tops loose on here as if it warms up it may still ferment and we don't want any exploding bottles like the elderflower champagne incident. That sticky juice I licked off the windows was delicious though. That is blooming delicious even if I do say so myself. I'm rather impressed actually. I'm also glad I did not leave it a month or even two months longer because that is quite strong enough. I feel like a proper qualified Somerset lad now that I have seen the cider full circle. Seen the cider full circle? You should stop by sometime and join me in a glass of my own personable ferment. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Cheers! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>